Thank you so much for joining us today. We are talking about the current steps Banner Health is taking when it comes to education and awareness around the current vaccine rollout. And joining us today, we have Dr. Christian Bimmy. He is the head of ICU down in Tucson. And we have Jackie Hunter. She's the Senior Director of Diversity and Inclusion at Banner Health. Thank you so much for being with us today. Um, Dr. Bimmy, I'm gonna start with you. Um, we're recording this February 3rd, 2021. Uh, we do have an idea of how the current vaccine rollout is going and what the next several weeks might look like. So I'll just uh, refer to you for a quick update on progress on how that rollout is going. Thank you very much uh, for having me. Uh, the vaccine rollout within Banner, as far as the healthcare staff is concerned, has gone very well. The majority of staff at the front lines uh, have been vaccinated with the first supply of vaccine that we had. Uh, and I think that the other healthcare institutions within Arizona have done the same. In terms of the general population, uh, the state of Arizona has done a good job of deploying the availability of space and resources to vaccinate the general population. I do know that there are issues with supply uh, nationwide, and so Arizona is not spared. As soon as we get those supplies, I'm sure that vaccination will be widely available. All right, thanks, Dr. Bimmy. Uh, Jackie, as I mentioned, you are the Senior Director of Diversity and Inclusion at Banner Health, and you were telling me there's an extra <clears throat> sense of urgency right now to keep that education and awareness focus, um, especially in communities of color. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, thank you, Eric. Um, I think it's a national conversation. And what's really um, exciting and promising is the focus um, as we think about um, people of color, um, other underrepresented um, populations as well. I can speak personally, um, you know, for myself, my parents are in their mid seventies. And, you know, when we think about the education, I was that source of information and education for them. So it's really important to make sure that we check on our elders, we check on um, the different underrepresented populations to make sure that they do have that vaccine awareness, how to register, um, as well as having the facts um, surrounding the, the vaccine. I think that's important. And Dr. Bimmy, I'll let you weigh in um, on your personal thoughts here as well. As a physician and a scientist uh, who has been at the front lines of taking care of these critically ill patients, I was very much looking forward to the vaccine and I was happy and lucky to be among the first in the uh, county to receive the vaccine. I understand uh, the challenges, the historical challenges that would lead uh, people of communities of color uh, to be reluctant, especially when it comes to vaccination or many things, science and medicine. Uh, however, as a physician, I did my homework extensively regarding this vaccine. I am aware that the vaccine was deployed very quickly. It was a historical uh, and a scientific breakthrough but I did a lot of research and I am confident, I was confident going in and volunteering to take this vaccine uh, because I trusted the science uh, and the fact that the international research community came together and did due diligence. And so I took the vaccine for that reason. However, I am aware of those disparities that have been going on uh, for many years that could lead certain communities to worry about what could happen. I would say though that uh, we have to generally be careful not to let skepticism about this vaccine lead to more disparities going forward. And so I would continue to encourage everyone just like I did uh, to listen to the science carefully, listen to their doctors. If you have any doubts, talk to your doctor and take this vaccine because that's the only way I believe we will get through this pandemic together. Yeah, Jackie, I'll give you an opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Dr. Bimmy mentioned those challenges and maybe what some of those conversations have been like uh, for you to overcome those challenges. Yeah, thanks, Eric. You know, I can speak personally for myself. Um, I was one of those folks that Dr. Bimmy referenced. Um, I wasn't sure about taking the vaccine when it first came out, um, you know, due to a variety of different reasons, fear from the past, um, things that Dr. Bimmy had referenced in regards to the speed of the vaccine. What really changed my mind was the education, being able to educate myself, um, being able to, as Dr. Bimmy referenced, be able to lead the way um, as we think about um, being that example. And for me, what really played a strong role in my decision were my parents. 
Um, you know, it was painful for them not to be able to come and spend Christmas um, due to the pandemic. Um, having my oldest being able to graduate um, this upcoming May, I would love to have my parents around. So I figured, you know, my parents said they were going to take it. Um, and it was very important for me to be able to support them um, and also be able to educate myself and understand that taking the vaccine is very important. All right, Dr. Christian Bimmy, Jackie Hunter, thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you uh, for everything you're doing in our community right now. And for the viewers at home, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you, Eric.